may adlaw sa tanan. Dayawan ang ginoo sa tion nga saluwat kita makapadayon sa pagmalandong sa iyang pulong. Kaya nga subong tion sa aton pagtuon sa iyang pulong aton pagtunan from the book of 2 Chronicles chapter 15. Kaya nga pagkabasahan ko ang verses 3 and 4. Ang pulong sa iyong nagahambal, Now for a long season, Israel hath been without true God and without a teaching priest, and without law. But when they in their trouble did turn unto the Lord God of Israel, and sought him, he was found of them. May the Lord bless the reading of his word, finding the true God. Ang ini lang nga pulong sa ginoo, nga aton nga ginbasa, nagapanungdum sa aton how important to have a relationship or an intimate relationship with, with our God. Kabalogi kita nga ang aton na ginoo is not a simple God, but it is, or He is, a almighty God, a powerful God, a sovereign God, a perfect God. Kaga tanan sa aton nga desire nga sa gihapon kita maka-experience nga tawag nga success sa aton nga pagkabuhi. But uh, the one na secret nga kung sa diin kinanglano naton to embrace and to experience that a successful living or life is to uh, depend on on that uh, faithful God, on that true God. Ang uh, scenario in this uh, chapter 15, especially in verse 3, nakita natin rin, for a long season, Israel hath been without true God. It doesn't mean nga ang presence sa ginoo wala nag exist during the time. But then, Ang present sa ginoo, ara ni dya. Present all the time. The whole world. Kaga ang ginoo ya, willing to give everything a kinanglanan sa tao. But the problem is, ang tao ya, during their time, wala yan nagkikilala sa Diyos. They never depend, they never trust, they never prioritize God in their in their lives. So magkita natin rin nga hindi kita maka-expect sa ginatawag nga success if uh, anyone of us would not prioritize the presence of God. No one can begin to live successfully without knowing God. That is the truth there. So, first is, first of all, we must understand how we can come to know Him for our for ourselves. So na una, again, ang muna nga tawag na relationship. Establishing that relationship with, with God. We know that there is only one true God, the God and Father of our Lord uh, Jesus Christ. So in 2 Corinthians chapter 1, verse 3, the Word of God says, Blessed be God, even the Father of our Lord Jesus Christ, the Father of mercies and the God of comfort. Magkita natin rin. Nga, Kanami gid batyagon nga amuding aton nga Dios. He is not an ordinary God, he is not a simple God, but humbly the Father of mercies and the God of all comfort. Kung makita natin dre, yes, every day we need the mercy of God. We need the grace of God. But then the greatest blessing which anyone can experience in this life is to find the true God. The true God that can depend, that can defend us. Ang tutod nga Diyos, nga kung sabihin, makadepend maka, maka kita sa iya, makasalig kita sa iya. But then you know, kung ma-fail kita dari sa sining a blessing, there is a greatest tragedy man. The greatest tragedy is to pass through life without ever finding Him. Why? Because kung wala si Jesus, wala ang ginoo sa ato na kabuhi, anuman ng mga challenges ang matabo sa ato na kabuhi, madalaman ng kita. That is the greatest tragedy. No one could help us. No one, no one could uh, protect us. Wala sang Diyos na maka, maka defend sa ato. Wala kita sang dependihan sa tiyon na nakinahanglan kita. So the experience of uh, Israelites here, nakita naton, nangin lesson in this ato. In verse 3, humble 3, they were without true God. Gin, humble na, 
Hindi po siya ganun, ang Diyos wala nag-exist. Nag-exist ang Diyos. But their faith and their trust is away from, from that God. Humble Dre, they had been true. Uh, that experience of without God for a long for a long time. It means they were godless. Kabudlay ang chindi hon. Kabudlay huna-huna on. Na kumbaga may ara na. Kwa on mo na lang. Saligan mo na lang. And yet nakita mo na importante sa imo. Pero sa ibang galit ng mga tao yung hindi importante. Kumbaga na sayang. Nga, nga may dependihan ka tanay, but then ikaw yung mismo nag decide hindi ka mag-depend. So in Ephesians chapter 2 verse 12, makita natin rin, that at the time they were without Christ, being aliens from the commonwealth of Israel, and strangers from the covenant of promise, have no hope, and without God in, in the world. So ara, ara, baladra ang mga words, aliens, strangers, and no hope, Kabudlay. Nga nakita na natong dari nga ang blessing sa ginoo, arag ijatani. And yet, nag-end sa kabuhit nila that they have no hope. So, this is a perfect description of a multitudes of people today. They are living without God. Napati mag sa hindi. There are groups, there are people na sa diin, yes, God is existing. Halin sa una sa subong. Still existing. And yet, there are groups and peoples, people, that they chose not to believe on that God. So isa man nga mahambal na itong sila, they are godless. Wala sila ka pati. Wala sila ka to sa ginoo. Pero ang budla yung ladrin. Kaya nga ah, Wala gina nagsunod sila ng una-una, but then sa mga tinio nang nagkinanglan sila, or in time of emergency, or emergency, sumundumduman nila ng gino. And yet, God is not welcome in their, in their lives. So, during Israelites' time, they still believe about the existence of God. Because they experienced and uh, benefited God's uh, providence in their lives. Most of them without the true God. Tutod gid ang pulong sa Ginoo, nagahambal God is merciful, God is gracious, God is love. So, ang katabo sa ila, they never worship God, but instead they worship their their own gods, the small gods. The possibility or the possible gods ng ila nga gina nga ginasimba, ginadumdum, is God of self. Money. Pleasures. Or even sometimes, ambition. So, possible gali nga pwede maditor ang ato niyang pagtuo, ang ato niyang pagsalig sa sining mga butang instead of having that full worship and trust and faith on that God. So, ang lesson sa ato, Andre, kabay pa nga hindi lang during emergency time na ito na ma- 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 kinahanglan ng gino. Kundi sa tanan nga tiyon, we claim, we will claim that we need God. So, makita pa kita ito, Ladra, not only that they were without the true God, but they were without spiritual mentor. Still in that verse 3, humble dra, now for a long season Israel had been without the true God and without a teaching priest. So they were without a spiritual mentor. Or a spiritual mentor was one whose duty is was to teach the people the truth of God. Sa aton nga panimalay may arak man, nga and yet sometimes, wala man nagkapamati ang ginatudloan. Sa so, subong ito niyon, kadamo sa nagatudlo. Kadamo kita sa pwede makita o kung uh, mapamatian ng mga spiritual mentors. Mas pasubong ang social media, kadamo gin sa gina-introduce ako. But you have to be careful of choosing those spiritual mentors. But then, ang ina ng mga 
spiritual mentors kana balaw anato na ginagamit sa Ginoo ang indako ina nga palagyan sa lugar they are faithful in teaching and reminding us about who God is the truth in God so they are preachers they are teachers of the word and we consider them as a spiritual mentor so they are the one who who teaches sa mga butang sa diin nag encourage about who God is sa mga plano sa Ginoo sa ato so uh hindi naton ma deny that Majority of people are outside the influence of these teachers and preachers. In short, kadamo sa mga tao, yung sa din, instead nga, nga, mag, nga mangin na uh, willing sila sa pag-apamati uh, sa sining mga tao, nga mga teachers, mga preachers about the Word of God, wala sila yung pamati sila. So they do not attend church or listen to any exposition or teaching of the scriptures. So instead nga ipalanggao nila, i-expect nila, o kung i-enjoy nila ini, uh, they chose to go away. And they do not read the Bible or kind of literature which uh, would inform them about the truths of God. So hindi niya, kumaga ang ilay ang appetite wala diri. But then, you know, there are consequences kung makita natin diri if that is our attitude towards God, towards the Word of God, because there is an appalling ignorance of things of God. So, tutuod lang, magabot ang tinion, nga, ang ginoo, ang maka, makasabat na lang sa imo, sa kung ano man ang mga questions mo, ang imo imo is, mutdom na lang kapuhin mo, kay para sa imo, wala ka na option. And yet, nakita mo nga, there is somebody, there is God who is willing to help you. Okay, tungod nga, wala kasang, wala kasang, uh, ano eh, uh, uh, hibalo about, about who God is. So, the average uh, person knows nothing of God's way of salvation. So, isa po, you have no relationship sa ginoo, you have no attachment to God, nakabot ang tinion, why get, your life became, uh, uh, useless uh, kaga kabudlay bala nga gin values ang ginong imo kabuhi and yet ikaw ya gin patuyang mo lang ang ina kabuhi so in Ephesians chapter 2 verses 8 to 10 for by grace are you saved through faith and not and that not ourselves it is the gift of God not of works lest any, uh, any man should boast for we are his workmanship created in Christ Jesus unto good works which God hath before ordained that we should walk in them. So, magkita natin dali, nga ang ginoo may gift sa atin. He is willing to accept us. He is willing to welcome us if we are willing to give our all to Him. So, dudu mo natin dali, we are His workmanship created in Christ Jesus unto good works. Kanami isang plano sa ginoo. But because of sin, ang tao nangin ano siya? Proud siya ako din. Nangin selfish siya. Ang pride ang mga nag-overrule sa iya. So, hindi gusto niya sa ginoo sa aton nga mga matabo. In fact, ang mga nang iyagin padumdum sa aton. Yung sa diin kita magbalik sa iya, kag mag-embrace uh, uh, ang iya pulo. At the same time, mag-establish ang aton kaugalingon, kaugalingon sa ginoo. So, kung kisa bala, may arang kitang experience. The experience of... Uh, uh, church, ang tawag na siya, church chinity, church, uh, church chianity. Uh, isa nangin, nangin, ang ato niya nga practice is not only about Christianity, but about the church lati, ang church siya, uh, hindi man niya perfect. So, ang imuya kung kisa yung nga, nga batasan, ang imuya nga personality, ang, ang nagakakita is not a uh, uh, Christianity, is not Christ uh, like a uh, life. But uh, church charity, okay, ang church yah, mayarap manda nga uh, malain, mayarap manda sa nga uh, influence ngayon di maayu. Uh, kay kung tanaw na tundra ang church uh, nangin na place uh, for us nga kung sa diin ni ano kita, ito duluan kita because uh, kabalu kita nga kita, anakikinawan sa pagtudlo kay tungod sa mga salak ginahimo natin. 
So humble dere hindi iya dapat sina or religiosity. So dapat yang makita yan sa ato niya is Christ. Uh, so yung humble naton nga uh, gusto git naton yung desire naton is to have a Christ-like kind of life. So in uh, Acts chapter 4 verse 12, Neither is there salvation in any other, for there is none other name under heaven given among men, whereby we must be saved. So ang pulong lang sa ginoo, ang Diyos lang gidya, kinahanglan gid naton, kag aton gidya ng saligan sa kabuhin naton. Romans 1.6, For I am not ashamed of the gospel of Christ, for it is the power of God unto salvation to everyone that believeth, to the Jew first and also to the Greek. So, si Apostle Paul even nag-remind sa aton nga we need Christ. Kinanglan gid naton ang Diyos. So we have to seek Him first. We have to pri prioritize Him. We have to, to give our all to Him. We have to accept Him as our Lord and personal Savior. So, uh, ang mga Israelites bala do kabudlay man nung isa in Sinigon, nga ara ng tanan sa ila, but then, baga, ang ginapangita nila ara man lang. And yet, hindi nila makita-kita because of blindness. Because of sin nga nag-blind sa ila. So, sa aton bala, ang mga nang ginapundulong sa aton sa Gino, don't make your eyes close. Or even don't pretend that you are blind. Even though that very clear in your eyes, in your both eyes, about who Christ is, who God is. So, let us embrace. Uh, let us embrace. So, uh, makita natin mula ang mga kakulangan pagin. Kaya ang mga butang ako sa nangin ignore nila that time. In verse 3, stay in verse 3, they were without law. So, ang sa Bible, dara? Now for a long season, Israel hath been without the true God and without a teaching priest and without a law. So it doesn't mean nga wala sang uh, law nga ginhatag sa ila nga makorek sila what is right and wrong. Marimayin sila what is right and wrong. May ara sa nagatudlo sa ila. May ara sa mga butang o sa din ila yung may nga pwede tanawan. And yet, their heart is not willing to follow whatever kind of, of law or laws nga ra dira. So, if anyone wanted to know the law in those days, he had to go to the priest. So, of course, there are people nga concerned about that. But today, we thank the Lord because we have His Word. We have the Bible nga makahatag sina. Sang sina nga mga law, magapadumdum sa aton, magatudlo sa aton. So, let us go back to the basic. Go back to the Bible. So, um, the problem is, yes, we have the Bible. We send it in. We send it in bookstores. We send it in Christian bookstores. We can buy Bible. We send it online. We have a free app. We send it in Bible. We send it in the dialect. We send it in the translation. I mean. So, we have a lot of time. But then, you know, the majority of people do not read the Bible. And therefore, they are without the law. This is the Bible because they don't, they, they don't want to follow. Uh, okay, para sa ila, every time mo basa sila, every time mo batian nila, ang pag-correct sa gino, daw, kill joy ang puro sa gino. But then the law is God's standard of what is right and wrong. If the people, if the uh, institution has a double standard, but then God has a uh, his own standard of what is right and wrong. <laughs> ang uh, mas ginapatihan pa yung isang tao, yeah? subong yang standard sang media. Newspaper, radio, television, cinema, internet, on, uh, yeah, social media. Kung ano naging post nila, so para sa amun ang sundo niya. So you know, I want to encourage you all Christians. But instead of posting sometimes sa mga butang ako sa diin, though hindi maging importante, just post the word of God. Just post the blessing, the spiritual blessing sa miyara kita. For, uh, for uh, to others that they also uh, be reminded about the blessings of God. So, God's standard has been rejected and the world's or man's or the devil's standard has been substituted. Mapatigit na sinaya. 
Yung mas damo mga tao nga naga follow sa in the standards again rather than following the standard of God. So, gonna reject nila. But you know, amuna ang reason. That is the very reason why civilization has become increasingly corrupted. So, uh, ato niya, ang pinaka-solution sini is to and need of ourselves, of our hearts, is to get back to the Bible. Because the Bible is the true standard, only book which contains the authentic revelation of God and His love. Not only His love, but His grace, His Son, Jesus Christ, who is the only way for our salvation of saving men and, and women. Even he is he is the way going to heaven. In humble dra in in um in John fourteen six, I am the way, the truth, and the life. No man cometh into the Father except through me. So number four here, when trouble came, they turned to the Lord. Hindi kita gusto magsapak sa ginoo, but then pag abot sang pagtilaw, pag abot sang pinakabudlay nga pagtilaw, nagabalik pa kita sa ginoo. In verse 4, but when they in their trouble did turn unto the Lord God of Israel and sought him, he was found of them. So we find that the trouble came because they had left God. Ano yung reason? Nga nangin na mabudlay ang ila pagkabuhi. Why they were in, uh, in, in trouble? Because they left God. They reject God. So, remember this. Trouble will always come to a nation's family or even individuals if they reject the Lord. If we reject the Lord, don't expect success. But for sure, we are sure of this. Expect trouble. Expect trouble. So, remember this, the Lord who sent the trouble. He can send you a trouble for you to understand and realize that you need God. It was His judgment on sin and His loving method of causing them to turn back to Him. That's why in 2 Chronicles chapter 15, verse 6, And nation was destroyed of nation, and city of city, for God did vex them with all adversity. So the question is, does God work like this today? Yes, He does. Pero minya ni ginay mo sa tao, sa kabuhi sa tao. He often sends trouble into man's life in order that that man who for many years has lived only to or for himself might, might turn back to the Lord and find him. Remember the story of the prodigal son in Luke chapter 15, verses 11 to 24. Yes, sa una nag-enjoy siya, but later, na problema siya. He was in great trouble. And then the Lord gave him that re realization. He needs to go back to his father. So the same sa ato. Pero man na lang pamangkot. Nga kinanglan pa naton. Nga maabot ang inang ati on. Kun. Subong na intindihan na naton. Nga kinanglan naton na ginawa. So hindi naton pagulaton. Nga upan ang matabok sa ato. But then. Kita naton dre. Still in that verse 4. They found the true God. They found the true God. But when they in their trouble did turn unto the Lord God of Israel and sought him, he was found of, of them. So, finding God is very easy if we are willing, if we are willing to follow the standard of his word. Of his word. So, uh, three words that was at the end. Uh, aton nga i-consider to find God 
uh, sa aton ng pagkabuhi, unang-una, turn from sin and from self. Turn from sin and from self. First Thessalonians 1. Nine. And then number two, seek the Lord and His pardon. Ayaw ikit ka patawaran ay musala. And then find the true God. So, I'm not going to read it. And then Chronicles chapter 15 verses uh, uh, 2, uh, 4, and even 15. So, namit dire kay nga ang ginoo sa gihapon. Nangita paagi kay ilang madumduman. Ilang ma-realize that really they need God. And then Chronicles uh, 15, 15, and all Judah rejoiced at the oath, for they had sworn with all their heart and sought him with their whole desire. And he was found of them, and the Lord gave them rest round about. Round about. So, yes, ang inoga pangita paagi, na marialisar na ito ng mabutangin na himalap, especially against say. But then, Let's cooperate by giving our all, by considering Him without any questions or any hesitation. In Proverbs 8 verse 17, I love them that love me, and those that seek me early shall find, shall find me. So, hindi natin makubudlayan ang atong pagiging. Let us continue to seek His presence, His will in our lives. Don't make yourself miserable of rejecting and forgetting God in your life. So let's prioritize Him. Let us give honor and glory to Him. Let us consider Him every minute, every hour, every day of our lives. And let us continue to worship and to lift up His name. Not only in our place, not only in our hearts, but even to the whole world. Having that Christ in our hearts is the most special and significant assurance indeed of our life. So, let's enjoy His presence in our hearts. Father, we thank you for your word. Bless your word in our hearts. In Jesus' name I pray. Amen.